Hey, welcome to the Shape It Up live show today. Hopefully everybody can hear me. If you can, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are a teaaholic, you are gonna wanna watch this video. Hey, my name is Nicole Simonin and I am a personal trainer at Shape It Up Fitness. I am the only personal trainer at Shape It Up Fitness. Um, I help women over 40 get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. I also like to help those women feel more comfortable in their own skin. And that can be a tough task, especially when you're over 40 and you sometimes feel like you should be sent out to pasture. It's not the case. Um, I am going to be, I am in my middle 40s, believe it or not, and in a couple months I'm going to be hitting another birthday. So I'm telling you, it is possible. Um, and I have some tips for you. I have one big tip for you today to implement. And if you implement it, you are going to be amazed at what happens. So before I get started, I wanted to give a shout out to one of my clients. Her name is Brianna and she started with me a couple months ago and she is a successful businesswoman. She owns her own business. She has kids. She has a husband. She has all the tasks and all the to-do lists that all of us other ladies have in our lives. And she, um, I have she's been doing really good. I have not seen one food log from her. So if you follow me at all, my philosophy on my clients is I don't want you to have to food log for the rest of your life. And if I can get you to the results that you want and not have you food log at all, then that's a plus. That's a bonus. So if you don't like food logging, hit that thumbs up right now because man, you do not want a food log for the rest of your life. That is for sure. But anyway, so Brianna has been doing awesome and she has lost over 20 pounds and she's doing really well. So every now and then I'm going to give a shout out to one of my clients who's doing fabulous and I only take a few clients at a time. So if you follow other fitness people, um, you might see constant, constant, constant posts of testimonials and, you know, who knows if they're even the real people. Um, I keep my client list really small because I like to give my clients the attention that they need to get their results. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to give a shout out to some clients here and there as I go through these videos um, each day. But if you want to give Brianna a shout out and a high five, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Um, also, before we get started, if you are interested in losing 20 pounds and feeling more comfortable in your own skin and doing it by not food logging, go ahead over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. -L. Uh, the link is above and I'll also leave it in the comment section below. All right, so I'm going to jump into the one thing that you can do today that is going to help you lose weight. Now this is especially for you teaholics out there. So anybody that is drinking, and I'm not gonna name any brands or anything like that, but if you are drinking iced tea products that come in a bottle, this video is for you. A new client started with me the other day and we were talking about nutrition because I also you know, focus on the nutrition part. And she mentioned to me that she drinks a lot of prepared teas. Um, she usually buys the big gallon jug and, you know, drinks it throughout the day. So I gave her this one tip and I will check back with you in a couple of weeks and I'll let you know how she's doing. But so this one tip, if you implement it and you do nothing else, like you don't change anything else that you're doing, you are going to drop some weight. So again, no names on products, but if you get an 18.5 ounce of iced tea and that is considered one serving, that, depending on the brand, could be 190 calories. The sugar in one of those teas is, for one serving, 47 grams of tea. 47 grams. Now. Answer this below and no cheating or Googling. <laughs> How much sugar should you be intaking every day? And I'll wait a second and you can put it in the comments if you know the answer. Don't Google it, no cheating. <laughs> so if you've put anything in there, the answer is you can ideally have sugar 
40 grams of sugar to 60 grams of sugar per day. That is really what you should be striving for. So that one bottle, 18.5 ounce bottle of iced tea has 47 grams of sugar. That would mean that that would be your intake of sugar for that day, that one bottle of tea. Um, so if you are a teaaholic, and I have some other clients who are teaaholics, and you're drinking like four bottles of those a day, so let's do some math, which is not my strong point, mind you, but um, I wrote it down ahead of time. <laughs> so if you do four bottles of the 18.5 ounces, again, I'm using this one particular brand. Um, so four bottles times 190 calories equals 760 calories. Um, 760 calories, that's a good deal of calories. And the sugar for four of those bottles would be 188 grams of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. That's insane, the amount of sugar. Um, I am gonna do a video on sugar, but just know that sugar is in a lot of things. And before you ask me about um, sweeteners, I would avoid sweeteners as well because, um, you know, Splenda, oh, I'm naming names, but Splenda and um, I'm at the park again today and people are driving by probably looking at me doing a, a video. <laughs> but um, so a lot of the iced teas that say sugar free, I would not get them either. They a lot of times have Splenda, they have um, aspartame in them, some sort of chemical enhanced whatever. I know they have said that Splenda is okay, but I'm betting that in another couple years, Splenda is going to be, because it's in everything. It's in everything. Um, if you have a question about iced tea, go ahead and put it in the comment section. And I think that's it. Um, if you want more tips and if you want help achieving your goals, Again, I work very closely with my clients and you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. -L. You can request a free 10 minute consult with me. We'll talk about what your dream physique is and I can make you some suggestions on how to get there. So if that interests you, go ahead and head over to there. Keep an eye out for the next Shape It Up live video. Who knows when it will be? It's just when I grab a chance to do a video. Um, I do have some exciting news coming up, but I'm not sharing it yet. So i um, kind of waiting to see if the pieces all fall together. And that is all for me today. If you have a question, go ahead and put it in the comment section. Like this video, please, if you enjoy it. And tell a friend. All right, have a wonderful evening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.